That's right. But notice what's in the book supposed to be in your church. That's right. If it's not in the book, kick it out the church. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's it. Oh, thank God when you do that. The book is your GPS system. That's right. You know, these cars they make now got a GPS system. Mm. That way, if you don't know where you're going, you log in the location and the GPS system guides you there. Is that right? That's right. Amen. So if you don't know whether you're on your way to hell with the devil or <laughs> on your way up but with God, I advise you to open your GPS system That's and it will tell you where you're headed. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Well, if you're sitting in a church where mm -hmm. the women are preaching, thank God, open your GPS system yeah. because you jumping and shouting while the women are prancing around the pulpit <laughs> and you up jumping, telling them to go ahead and yeah. go on in some type of tongues. Mm -hmm. Thank God for when you open a GPS system. Mm -hmm. They tell you, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use of authority over the man, but to be inside with all subjection. Yeah. You open your GPS system. Mm -hmm. Amen. That the head of every woman is the man. That's right. That your women learn in silence. You open that, that will guide you the right way. That's right. But when you follow these organizations like PAW, yeah. UPC, mm -hmm. Church of God and Prophecy, Amen. Church of the Living God, Amen. Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, yeah. the Assemblies of God, 99.9 mm. .9 of every so-called apostolic faith church from one end of Jamaica to the other, yeah. All, practically every last one got women preachers mm. and divorce and then they say we got the faith of the apostles yet don't believe no. what the apostles believe no no amen. no way amen. are you listening amen go ahead man. go ahead i want to say to everything that's here and that's watching in jamaica come out of your church come out Amen. I didn't say stay there and think about it. Come out of it. Come out of it. Well, Pastor Jesus, I'm going to wait till the Lord talk to me. You want the Lord to talk to you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you how he's going to talk. Give me the 14th chapter, if I'm correct, of the book of 1 Corinthians, because the Lord's going to talk. Uh, and they out there saying they want the Lord to talk. Let's see that the Lord tell them to stay there mm -hmm. or come out of there. Come out of there. Let's go in the book of 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter, six, chapter 6 and at verse 17. And begin at verse 17. Wherefore? This is the Lord talking. Wherefore? No, they don't need to look for dreams and voices and all that. No, God talked through the scriptures. That's right. The Bible says search the scriptures. That's it. Search the scriptures. Mm -hmm. For in them you think you have eternal life. That's right. Whatsoever things are written before time are written for our learning. That's right. That we through pictures and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right. Jesus said you're error because you don't know the scripture that's it. nor the power of God. That's right. And that's what's wrong with the preachers. Mm -hmm. They don't know the scriptures mm -hmm. and they don't have the power of God to open up the scriptures. That's right. The scripture says, Wherefore, wherefore come out from among them. No, just write the preacher a letter. Come out from among them. You didn't them. write the church you was in a letter to go there. That's right. You ain't got to write a letter to leave there. Come out from among them. Do what? Come out from among them. Now have a meeting with your bishop. Come out from among them. Amen. Come out. No one said, well, uh, you're the reason why I sit and talk to the bishop because that's decent and in order. You trying to tell me this is indecent? <laughs> Come out. That's right. I don't say a word to, and, and just get up and go. Just get That's up. decent. That's right. That's Man. right. Come out. That's decent. Amen. Why? I'm running to save my soul. That's it. That's it. Bishop call you. Well, uh, sister, where are you? I haven't seen you. I'm gone, Bishop. Amen. Why? Because you got the women up preaching. Yeah. But why didn't you talk to me about it? Because it's already in the scriptures. Come out. And you're supposed to be leading me. Why do I got to talk to you about what's in the Bible? You're supposed to be leading me. That's right. And you're leading me the wrong way. That's right. Your GPS system is broke. Amen. Ah, Amen. It's broke, I say. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Glory to God. You that are sitting here that go to these churches where you can divorce and remarry Amen. and you sit and look at some loud mouth woman preacher Amen. i don't care if it's your mama Amen. and i don't care if it's you come out of her come out come out that's right come all out. of jamaica hmm. that's in the upc mm -hmm. paw Amen. assemblies of god church of god and prophecy come out of all the churches on the island where the women preach and where you can divorce that's right if you don't you will go to hell 
when the Lord comes. That's right. Not just you, your pastor also. That's right. Jesus said, if the blind the lead blind. the blind. Both. 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 Can you say so? That's right. If the blind lead the blind. Both. That's not just the members. No, They no. got your apostle. That's right. That got your bishop. That's right. That got your elder. That's right. They be blind leaders. Do you hear the word of God talking? In Matthew chapter 15 and verse 14. They be blind leaders. Of the blind. Of the blind. And if the blind. And if the blind. Lead the blind. Lead the blind. Both. How? Both. No, just the preacher. Both. Amen. Just the deacon. Both. How many of you will get in a taxi cab that's driven by a blind man? All right. Huh. Amen. Huh? Amen. You're looking for a taxi cab, blind man, who, who, who got some shades around here in their parking room? Anyone got any shades around here? Thank God. And here you get a man that's blind and got a stick and whatnot. He's blind as he can be. Blind. That's right. You run around, taxi, taxi, taxi. <laughs> he tell you, hello, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, can you see? I ain't got to see. I feel my way. <laughs> How many of you dumb enough to get in the car? Raise your hand Amen. and expose your stupidity. That's right. That's right. If you won't get in the car with a blind man, yeah. why will you get in the church and be led by a blind man. That's right. Amen. If a blind man can't drive a car and take you around a corner, Amen. how can a blind man get you to the kingdom of God? That's true. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus said, they be blind leaders. The blind lead the blind. Lead the blind. Both. Both. They're both. Fall into the They're both. Both. The board of directors, Both. the board of elders, Both. the mother's board, Both. the daughters of Zion, Both. the brotherhood, Both. the ushers, Both. the musicians, Both. the organization. Both. Hallelujah. Both shall Holy fall. God. Hallelujah. Both shall fall into the ditch. That's right. Amen. You that are here in Jamaica, yeah. you that are watching, Amen. get upset as you please. Yeah. Every church that got a woman preacher Amen. is a Satanist church. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's a church of Satan. That's right. Every church that believes in divorce Amen. and remarry Amen. is a Satanist church. And I know thy blasphemy in the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Listen. Listen to what I'm telling you. Amen. I said every church. Every church. That got women in the pulpit. Go ahead. You take so-called apostolic faith off your building. Yeah. The faith the brothers had, they believed in what Jesus taught. Yes, they did. And when Jesus was here, he didn't get not one woman. No, he didn't. The priest of nobody. No, he didn't. Well, my pastor said that Mary preached the first message. To who? To who? Right. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. She preached it to who? To who? You liars! That's right. To who? To who? Come tell me that. I'll make you lick it up. Thou hast tried them. Do you hear what the word of God says in Revelation? Back in Revelation 2 and verse 2. Thou hast tried them. I've tried them. Which say they are apostles. I'm saying, Pastor Jennings, why do you preach so hard? The <laughs> same spirit that stirred up Paul has stirred me up over. That's right. Huh? That's right. I, I can't help it. Can't help it. I can't help myself. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God. Hallelujah. I just can't help myself. That's right. Thank God when I see all of Jamaica giving over to idolatry and the rest of the world, my spirit is stirred. Oh, yeah. Stirred. Stirred up. Every country I go in is stirred. That's right. Every town and every city That's right. stirred. That's right. Thank God when I beheld. They are unlawful deeds. unlawful deeds. Women being ordained by the thousands. My Lord, my and Lord. And these blind, devil deceived, money making bishops yeah. don't even care that it's in the Bible. No. That's true. They don't care about the Bible. No, they don't care. That says, I'll suffer not a woman to preach. They don't care about no, that. They don't care about They're that. making too much money. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. And what? And are not. Every man that got women preaching and say you are apostles, what are you? And has found them liars. Liars. liars found them what liars are you Amen. listening to what i'm telling you that's truth 
All right, let's go back to where you are. Back in 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 13. All right. For such are false apostles. Such are false ambassadors. Deceitful workers. They are self-made policy makers. That's right. That's right. You know, in America, we have what is called an army surplus store. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go in the army surplus store, you can come out any officer you like. <laughs> You can be a brigadier general, a sergeant. Amen. Amen. I mean, I mean, you can come out and with as many general stars on your arm that you like. That's right. Pentagon still don't know you. Amen. Pentagon don't have a clue who you are. No. You have no military papers, but you got the look. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. That's the way it is with these man-made churches. That's right. I have thousands of people write me and say, well, why you got to talk about the churches so much? That show you don't have love. That's mm. not the truth. That's not Jesus the truth. talked about uh, the false prophets, false prophets and talk about Herod and all of that and call Herod a fox. That's right. And, and Jesus had the greatest love more than anybody under the sun. <laughs> That's right. Amen. But it didn't stop him from exposing your folly. Well, went to you scribes. Listen at this in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 13. Listen at the loving teaching of Jesus. But woe unto you scribes. I want to, I, I want to show you the loving teaching of Jesus. That's Give right. chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 23 and at verse 13. What is it? But woe unto you scribes. Woe unto you scribes. And Pharisees. Pharisees. Hypocrites. Do you see what love said? That's right. Love call you a hypocrite. Woe unto you scribes. Look at them, just keep talking. Woe mm. unto you scribes. And Pharisees. Pharisees. Hypocrites. Love just keep preaching. Woe unto you scribes. Woe unto you scribes. And Pharisees. Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Woe unto you. He being repetitious, you know. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. He blind guys. What, what other name did he call them? Blind guys. Not only are you a hypocrite, but you was a blind guy. Ye fools. What else are you? Ye fools. You're a hypocrite. You're a blind god and a fool. And blind. This is love preaching. That's right. Ah! That's right. Thank God. Love is preaching. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's they right. call you blind. Blind. They fools. call you a fool. Woe unto you. Woe! Scribes. Now listen, when the Lord says woe, woe. that means I'm sorry for you. That's right. right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. There's something that's about to happen. That's right. That's gonna be unpleasant to you. That's right. What did he say? Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, uh -huh. ye blind guides. Amen. Keep reading, son. Thou blind Pharisee. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres. Look at him. He laying you out so much, he's comparing you to a tombstone. That's right. Where, where dead folks are. That's right. He's comparing you to a sepulchre where the dead is. Which indeed Which appear indeed beautiful are, outward. You see that? Amen. Oh, that fellow looked beautiful walking around telling the folk, I'm in the fast. That's right. I'm in the fast. He looks so beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Folks getting up saying, I thank God for our man of God, mm -hmm. an apostle indeed. And he just ordained your mama. My Lord. Right. Appear beautiful. He appeared beautiful. Outward. Outwardly. But our when, when, when you see him Amen. standing in your church. <laughs> Come here, brother. Standing in your church, Amen. Gary and my uh, Collins, come here, stand behind the brother. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is what you, you, you make, this is why you think you got an apostle. Mm -hmm. Because he's standing in your church yelling, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ha. Ah! Right. See? That's what they do. Amen. How does it appear? Appear beautiful. Amen. Amen. How does it appear? Appear beautiful. Amen. How does it appear? Appear beautiful. All that yelling like us, a pig, got to be right. slaughtered. That's right. You don't read where the apostles did that? No, they did. No, they did. Amen. Make it plain, brother. Make it plain. How does it appear? Appear beautiful. You call it anointing. That's right. What if God call it a form of godliness? Form. That's right. How do it appear? Appear beautiful. This, this is the doctrine of the apostles right here. Amen. It appeared to be beautiful. Outward. Outwardly. But are within. But 
where you evaluate it okay. and full, search into it. Okay. Full of dead men's bones. It's full of death. And the sting of death is what? Sin. Full, full. A man with a second wife are dating elders. That's right. I want every preacher in the world to hear me. Go ahead, brother. If you've been ordained by any preacher, mm -hmm. and that preacher was living in divorce mm -hmm. and got a second wife, when he ordained you, your ordination is worthless. What? Amen. 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 Go ahead, man. It's worthless. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Your very ordination got to come on scripture order. That's right. That's right. Do you hear? Appear beautiful oh, outwardly. They got a beautiful appearance outwardly. 25 new diocese bishops is ordained. Yeah. And then 30 women were added to the evangelistic ministry. Amen. How does that look? Appear beautiful. Amen. Oh, I thank God we want to take holiness and steamroll all over Jamaica. Amen. That's right. All over the island. That's right. That's right. I want to say to everything in Jamaica, mm. the whole island belongs to God. Right. Whole island. Hallelujah. The whole island. Hallelujah. It belongs to God. That's right. All right, thank God we want to offer it up to him. That's right. What did he say? Which indeed. Which indeed. Appear beautiful. He didn't say it is. He said it appeared to be. Outward. Outwardly. And that's what most folk look at outwardly. Right. How many churches being built, the size of the congregation, the mega church, look at all the different women being ordained, and then the gay pastors being ordained, that's right. and the uh, dyke women being ordained, that's and right. homosexual marriages. And this stuff is being done by men that claim they are apostles. apostles. Amen. And the Lord our God saw them coming. That's right. And he testified mm -hmm. such a false apostle. False apostle. And what kind of workers are they? Deceitful workers. Deceitful. Tricksters. Mm -hmm. Amen. How did they become an apostle? Transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Amen. Wait a minute. What did they do? Transforming themselves. They get all these dreams. They, yeah. ate, too, they ate too much rice and beans and <clears throat> too much pork. Amen. Too much chicken and had too many glasses of that Jamaican rum. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? Transforming themselves. Now, mm -hmm. just like they transformed themselves into the apostles Christ of mm -hmm. Christ. That's, it's just the same way as those vagabond Jews did yeah. when they took it upon themselves to use the name of Jesus. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Take it upon themselves. That's right. And what make it so scary? Thousands are being led by these fellas. Yeah. And no marvel. The Bible says, don't be surprised about it. Why? Why should we not? For Satan himself. Wait a minute. Who? Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Amen. Why shouldn't I be surprised? Satan himself. How I should not be surprised when men make themselves apostles? Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Now, mm -hmm. when Satan transformed mm -hmm. himself into an angel of light, mm -hmm. angel mean messenger. That's right. So if Satan is transformed into a messenger of light, mm -hmm. transform mean he come to appear as the real thing. That's right. Amen. 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 This it's artificial light. Yes. These lights here. The sun that shine in the day mm. is real light. That's right. Amen. God is real light. That's right. Satan is transformed, transformed. to appear as real light. Mm. That's why even he baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's true. I get thousands of letters. I get so many hundreds of letters from Jamaica alone. People write me, tell me, Pastor Dennis, uh, we, we believe what you believe. We baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. We have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. We believe there's one God and we cover our head. But the only difference is that uh, 
Oh, we just got women preachers and you don't. That's a small thing. Oh, yeah? Mm. Pastor Paul said, who make you to differ? That's right. Who give you the right to differ? Right. right. Now, that's not a small thing. Every church on the island got to obey what I'm about to read now. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter, chapter one, 1 and verse 10. At verse not 10. only do all Jamaica got to be compliant with this, mm. so every church in the world yeah. got to follow this scripture right here. First Corinthians 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter one and at the tenth verse. Jesus called them blind guys. Right. What should we give the blind guys? Now I beseech you, brethren. What should we give the fools? Now I beseech you, brethren. What should we give the Satan followers? Now I beseech you, what brethren. What do we want the false apostles to hear? Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. All right. All right. Amen. 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 It shouldn't be one belief in the PAW, another belief in the UPC, no. another belief in the ASU, That's another right. belief in the UPS, That's another right. belief in the FXX, all these initials. Amen. Yeah. Another all belief in the CLR. Amen. Another belief in the YXZ. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold that. Mm -hmm. And let's get the men when they come together. And let's see what everybody have different. Mm -hmm. How is it then, brother? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You mean to tell me all these apostles out here and every last one of you got something different? How is it then, brother? Some of you, are, some of you apostles actually believe in three gods. That's true. How is it, brother? How is it? How is it? Give chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 26. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 14 and at the 26th verse. Listen at this. How is it then, brother? How? How? Go ahead, take God. I want to sound the alarm. Go ahead, man. How is it then, brother? When ye come together. When you come together. Every one of you. Every one of you. Hath a song. Look at you. Yeah. Every one of you. Now, whenever we have praise service, you only can sing one song at a time. That's right. But the Holy Ghost said what? How is it then, brethren, when ye come together? What? Every one of you hath a song. Stand up, brother. Stand up, brother. Stand Amen. up, baby. Stand up, brother. All of y'all come through the front here. Stand right here, all four of you. Amen. Do what now? Every one of you has a song. Start singing a song, brother, any song. What mighty you start singing one. You start singing one. Anything. Ah, don't sing what he sang. Sing what he don't sing. Anything. That's the way the preachers are. They're confused. You start singing something. Every one of you has a song. He was so confused, he ain't know what to say. <laughs> he just stood there. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you hear the word of God talking? Every one of you has a song. How is it then, brethren? Right. How is it? Paul is questioning brothers how is it then brother you fellas that brag that your bishops and elders and pastors Amen. and evangelists and district elders and diocese bishops mm -hmm. and old board of directors and apostles mm -hmm. how? prophets amen evangelists amen how is something it? went wrong that's right yeah something's wrong do you hear the word of God talking? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. When you come together. Every one of you has a song. Every one of you have a song. Has a doctrine. Have every, a what? Has a doctrine. Have a what? Has a doctrine. Every one of you. Every one of you has a doctrine. All right. Let's deal with the doctrine of the apostles and the doctrine of men. Right. Just with one scripture. Mm -hmm. First subject. Women mm -hmm. preachers. Women preachers. First Timothy. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2, chapter verse 12. Two, verse 12. Because the Bible says they have a doctrine. Hath a doctrine. I want to get the doctrine of God, mm -hmm. and then I want to challenge men doctrine. First Timothy 2 and verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. This is the doctrine of Scripture. That's right. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor, nor to usurp to authority, authority over the man. Authority over the man. But to be in silence. Why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. All right. Mm -hmm. This is the doctrine of God. Right. And the word of God said. Every one of you. Every one of you. Hath a doctrine. All right. Now, this is some of the doctrine that men have. Right. They say we don't believe in woman pastors. Mm. All right. We don't believe That's in woman pastors. Right. 
but we believe in warming preachers. Preachers. That's one doctrine they had. Yeah. Another doctrine that they had, we don't believe in warming preachers per se. <laughs> That's right. We don't let women in the pulpit. Right. But we do let them speak down there. Right. Uh -huh. Another doctrine. Another doctrine. That's, That's two right. different doctrines. That's right. Every one of you. Every one of you have what? Has a doctrine. And every time they got a doctrine, they contradict the doctrine that the apostles were steadfast in. That's right. How is it then, bro? How is it? How, How did you come it? up with this? How is it? How? Because they lack understanding of the Bible. That's right. I got several letters that came from Jamaica a few weeks ago. And every letter that came in on the women preacher subject, every last one of them asked me to explain the book of Galatia. Mm. There's neither Jew or Greek, or Greek. bond yes. or, free, or free, male or female. That's right. Jamaicans love that scripture. That's right. Man. For many of you. All right, I want to go into it right now right for now. the sake of delivering all of Jamaica. That's right. All right, listen at this. In Galatians chapter 3 and at verse 26. What is it? For ye are all the children of God. All right, wait a minute right there. I want to dissect it and split it to pieces. <laughs> what is the subject? Ye are all the children of God. Ye, talking about you, mm -hmm. are the children of God. By faith in Christ Jesus. By our belief in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as, as have been baptized into Christ. As many of who? As many of you. Still talking to the children of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. As many of you as have been baptized into Christ. Yes. Have put on Christ. Now, how do you put on Christ? The way, notice, it says when you're baptized. Mm -hmm. When you're baptized. Mm -hmm. When you're baptized, how? For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ. Hey, you got to be baptized into Christ. And when that happens, you put them on. That's right. How do you put them on? You got to repent of your sins. Repent right. of all your wickedness. Right. All the sins you ever done, you got to repent and ask God to forgive you for them. That's and right. then that repentance, if it's for real, it will convict your heart. Mm -hmm. Godless sorrow will get repentance. Mm -hmm. And then you will be baptized in water. In, in the name of Jesus Christ to wash away your sins. Right. And then you will seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's when it. you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you put on Christ because you put on his name. That's it. What did he say? For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ, oh, have put on Christ. Have put on Christ. There is neither Jew. Uh-oh. Now, now look at it. Amen. The subject, children, children of God. Children of God. There's neither Jew. Nor Greek. Now, regardless of what nationality you are, mm -hmm. you got children of God that are Jews. That's right. You got children of God that are Greeks. There is neither bond. You got children of God that is in bondage. Nor free. You got children of God that's not in bondage. They're free. There is neither male. They, they got children of God that are male. Nor female. You got children of God that are female. For ye are all one. You know, ye are all preachers. Ye are all one. That's How the doctrine it? of men. That's Mary right. ain't carried the, Mary ain't preached the first message. No. Jesus arose from the dead. And told Mary, tell my disciples and Peter to meet me in Galilee. Mm -hmm. They ain't no different than me arriving here in Jamaica. <laughs> and I tell one of the brother's wives, look, you tell my brothers to meet me at the church. Yeah. That's Is it. that preaching? No. No way. That's all Jesus did, rose from the dead. You tell my disciples and Peter, meet me, meet me in Galilee. Galilee. I want you to meet me there. Right. I get off the plane here in Jamaica. Says, you tell my brothers mm -hmm. to meet me. Uh, uh, and balaclava, clava, lava, lava. <laughs> I can't pronounce this place for nothing. <laughs> Savalalama. <laughs> Is that it? I'm close, I'm close, ain't it? I'm going to have to come up with my own words. Salamar. <laughs> eh? oh, ain't no yeah. different. If I tell her, sister, look, tell her brother to meet me in Salamar. <laughs> She ain't going there sweating and hollering and hooping and grunting hooping. and got her hands over the air screaming. No. The brother's going to take her to the hospital. That's right. That's right. Why? Because there's something out of place. Amen. How something went wrong. Yeah. That's a doctrine that That's... Mary preached the first message. That's, That's a right. doctrine. That's right. It's a doctrine when no. women run and talk about the jackass that talked to the prophet Balaam. Yeah, that's a doctrine. They made it a doctrine. That's right. And their doctrine is, if God can use a dumbass, why can't he use a woman? Well, I would like to know what decent woman want to compare herself to a donkey. Amen. 
Why would you want to do that? And I want you preachers to get these female donkeys out the pulpit and sit them down. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Huh? Go ahead. And that you love the donkey so much <laughs> and you want to compare the donkey to yourself, you donkeys come out the pulpit. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Come on, get your hoofs out the pulpit. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Come on now. Get it up. Get it up. <laughs> Get it up, I said. That's right. Sit down. That's it. Hallelujah. Take God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did he say? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? Every one of you has a doctrine. Every one of you, blessed be the name of God, have a what? Has a doctrine. You got a doctrine. Doctrine. As the Bible says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the doctrine of baptism. Doctrine of, mm -hmm. You late comers come along. Sprinkling for baptism, that's a doctrine. That's a doctrine. Shooting a hose on you, a water hose on you, that's a doctrine. That's right. The church that has that doctrine is called the House of Prayer for mm. all people. The founder of that organization called himself Sweet Daddy Grace. Amen. He's dead now in a Christless grave waiting for hell. <laughs> that's right. And he called himself an apostle. An apostle. He had hair past his shoulders. Yeah. His fingernails was two and three inches long to the curl. Oh yeah. Believe the way to be baptized, he'd get all the baptized candidates together and they were dressed in white robes and he had take a fire hose and they'd shoot it up in the air and everybody come running under the water and say they're being baptized. That's right. That's right. Every song that you sang about Jesus in the church they take the name Jesus out and sing Sweet Daddy. Yeah. Every place in the New Testament that mentioned the word grace, they say that's talking about Daddy Grace. My Lord, my Lord. Doctrine. Every one of you has a doctrine. You see how dangerous doctrine is? Amen. And remember, they call themselves apostolic, and they got followers by the thousands. Oh, yeah. Now, and Daddy Grace been dead. Mm -hmm. And every man that come after him, he take on the title Sweet Daddy. Amen. And what the men do when the so-called Sweet Daddy come in the church, they have a customized gold-looking throne. Yeah. With two long poles on each side. Yeah. And the men hoist the bishop up. Mm -hmm. While he's sitting on his throne, men on one side and on the other, and they carry him through the air. That's right. With music behind him. And people with hands full of hundreds of dollars yeah. come throw the money right at the little jack leg apostle. That's right. How is it? How is it? How is it? How is it? How did this happen? Amen. It, listen, if the apostles asked the question then, and that's thousands of years ago, yeah. I'm asking the same question now. How is it, brother? How is it then, brother? How is it? Amen. How is it then, brother? When ye come together. When ye come together. Every one of you hath a song. Hath a doctrine. The doctrine of Jesus Christ. Give mm. me the 16th chapter of the book of Mark. Mark. Mm -hmm. Let me get at verse 15. Everybody all right? Yes. Amen. Mark chapter 16 and at verse 15. Listen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. The doctrine. Doctrine say he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Man-made doctrine come together. Baptism is out with sound and with grace. That's you right. You ain't got to be baptized. Yeah. You don't have to be baptized. Not, not That's that. men's doctrine. That's right. And yet the doctrine of God speak plain. Here. He that believeth and is baptized. He that believeth and is baptized. Shall be saved. And you will be saved. But he that believeth not. Any preacher tell you you don't have to have it. What will happen to them? Shall be damned. You're going to hell. And these sons. These signs shall follow them that believe. What? In my name shall they cast out devils. And? They shall speak with new tongues. No, so you don't have to speak in tongues now. They shall speak with oh, new tongues. Oh, no, you ain't got it. I got the Holy Ghost and I didn't speak. They shall speak with new tongues. Yeah, you don't have the Holy Ghost. You just got a spook in you. <laughs> That's right. Any man teach that you have the Holy Ghost without speaking in tongues, mm. that's Satan's minister. Amen. He got a false doctrine. That's right. These signs shall follow them that believe. Speak. Someone said, well, everybody won't speak. That's true. 
That's true. Who speaking in tongue for? That believe. It's for believers. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why believing what God said make me tarry. Amen. Believing what God said make me pray. Yeah. Believing what God said make me act and fill me with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Eh? That's right. If I don't believe it, I don't even look for speaking in tongues. Amen. 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 What did he say? These signs shall follow them that believe. What is it? They shall speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents. Now hold it. Hold it right there. They shall take up what? They shall take up serpents. There's a doctrine all over America. Mm -hmm. especially in the midwestern part of america mm -hmm. where you have churches that call themselves snake handlers right they have all kind of snakes live snakes mm -hmm. in the church and they be up jumping and shouting and singing holding the snakes yeah quoting this scripture they shall take up serpents if they they shall take up serpents mm -hmm. And they say, that means when you get snakes, do you hear what the Bible says there? They shall take up serpents and they, what? And if they drink any deadly thing. Now hold it, when the Bible said if they shall take up serpents. The serpents. Bible didn't tell you to go out and go snake hunting. No. Fools. That's right. That's right. If you look at that scripture, then just look at Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul was gathering sticks. Thank God and a viper. Fasten on to Fasten brother on Paul. Fasten to his hand. Paul shook him off. That's right. And the viper fell in the fire. That's right. When a viper bites you, you're supposed to swell up. Mm -hmm. You know, die. Poison run through you. Right. And when the people there looked at Paul, seen nothing happen to him, mm -hmm. they said, he must be God. That's right. That's Paul right. wasn't going around, here's snakey, snakey, snake. No. Here's, no. Uh -uh. Oh, no. No. Paul wasn't doing that. No. That's why some of the snake handlers got bit and they died. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. They got bit and they died. Died. Do you hear the word of God talking? They shall take up serpents. And? And if they drink any deadly thing. Now hold it. If they drink any deadly thing. It shall not hurt them. At the mean, just go and ask somebody, look, do you got any poison? No. I don't mean that. Nature itself teach you something. That's right. That don't mean go get some poison. I believe God. And here you got a sign right there that got a, a skull on it and two crossbones. Amen. Poison. Amen. Sure death. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't mean just volunteer and go guzzling poison. No way. Just like Paul wasn't looking at, looking for snakes mm -hmm. and then fastened on to him. Mm -hmm. He wasn't looking for them, unaware, and then right. he, know, he got them. Right. That's the way it is with poison. Yeah. You may drink something you don't even know is poison. Mm -hmm. But because of your faith in God. It shall not hurt them. It won't hurt them. That's right. That's what it's talking. That's right. Because of your faith, you didn't even know it was poison. Amen. It's like Paul wasn't out looking for snakes. You don't go out looking for poison. That's right. Amen. Hmm? Amen. All right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians so I can knock off. This is good tonight. How is it then, brethren? How is it then, brother? When you come together. When you come together. Every one of you hath a song. Every one of you got a song. Hath a doctrine. Doctrine. You know why you got missionaries in your church? That's not the doctrine of God. That's not the doctrine That's of God. That's the tradition of men. That's right. Why you got junior bishops and junior elders and junior pastors? That's not the doctrine of God. No. That's the tradition of men. That's right. Why do you got junior apostles and first ladies and all that stuff? That's not the doctrine of God. No. That's the tradition of men. Amen. And people are so loyal to these traditions until they are more dedicated to organization. Yeah. I have met people that say, I don't care what the Bible says. Huh. My Lord. They so loyal to their church, they have told me, Pastor Dennis, I don't care what the Bible says. My Lord, my Lord. I'm going to believe my bishop. That's something to say. That's something to say. Yeah. Amen. I want to tell the world, everything better care what the word of God said. Oh, yeah. Everything. Everything. Be quick. How is it then, brethren, when you come together? Every one of you has a song, has a doctrine, has a tongue, has a revelation. Wait a minute. Hmm. Have a what? Has a tongue. Every one of you. Now, when you received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue mm -hmm. years ago, Years ago, I think I must have been about 23 or 24, I preached for a false prophet in Philadelphia named Elder Rowe. Yeah. And I never forget 
he taught the people that you got to speak in tongue like his wife. Amen. And everybody in the church was saying the same thing. Hmm. He made his wife the measuring stick for tongue speaking. Yeah. You truly had the Holy Ghost. You ain't got to speak in tongue like nobody. That's right. Because it's as the Spirit give utterance. That's right. And if the Spirit of God utter a language out of you, you're supposed to be in God's control. Amen. That's right. Amen. You ain't got no business trying to sound like Gary. No. That's true. Trying to sound like any of these ministers in here. That's true. If you trying to sound like them, that's the devil in you. That's right. You ain't Everyone. got no business trying to sound like me. You ain't got no business trying to sound like Wims. No. That's right. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be as the spirit give up. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. The function of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But what about if there's no interpreter? When there's no interpreter, then the Apostle Paul teaches us, mm -hmm. then the Lord edify of that one. That yes. one. When there is an interpreter, the Apostle Paul teaches us that's by right. God's permission, then the church is to be edified. That's right. Because that's the time that God wants everybody to know what is being said. That's right. Are you listening? When ye, how is it then, brother? How is it then? Oh, hallelujah. To Amen. God. How is it then? Churches, churches, organizations, mm -hmm. Baptists, Catholics, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Mormons, Muslim. How is it? How is it then, brother? How is it? When ye come together. Here is the first commandment is here is that the Lord our God is one. How you get three? That's right. How in the world wow. did you blind infidels get three? <laughs> Amen. How did you pull that lie off? That's right. How is it? Here it is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. God made the woman for the man. Right. How did wow. you come up with a homosexual church? How is it then, brethren? Yeah, that's something. Yeah. In order for, listen, in order for the homosexual now to be born, he got to have a woman. That's right. That's right. You can live with all the men you want. It ain't no man that's designed to carry a little homo in him. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Oh, go ahead, brother. There ain't a man living that's designed to that's carry designed a little homo baby in his gut. Go ahead, brother. How is it then? How is it then? How is it, How is it then, brother? Get me, get me, get me now. I want to soak it. Go ahead. Go ahead. How is it then? How is it? How is it that you believe that man is for the man and <laughs> woman is for the woman? Amen. How's that? God established what he purposed from the beginning. That's right. He took the rib from the man and made a woman. Made a woman. He didn't take a man from man. No. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. The woman come from the man. Right. Now the man has to go back to the woman. That's right. That's right. And ever since Adam went to Eve, man been going to women ever since. <laughs> Amen. Hmm? Amen. That's the nature of man. He want to go back where he come from. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. How is it then, brethren? How is it then? When Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. When you come together. Every one of you hath a song. Every one of you have a song. Hath a doctrine. Have what? Hath a doctrine. Make up doctrine because of misunderstanding of scripture. Right. The Bible says in 11 chapter 1 Corinthians about the woman, mm -hmm. her hair is given her for a covering. For a covering. And because these blind preachers don't know what the word covering means, they tell her, you ain't got to have nothing on your head. Yeah. You would think Paul was going around preaching to the women, put a hair on. That's right. When you put a hair on, it ain't yours. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> Pastor Paul said if a woman pray or prophesy, having her head, head. Uncovered, uncovered, she dishonor her head. That's it. You're born with the covering. Right. Hair. But your covering must be covered. Covered. Covered mean complete. Mm. Covering mean incomplete. That's right. How is it then, brother? So now, here, I got a covering. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm in the process to cover my covering. That's it. I'm going to, this is my covering. That's it. <laughs> Amen. Now I'm going to cover. 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 That's right. My covering. That's right. So when I worship God, mm -hmm. he can respect the worship. Talk about the woman. That's 